Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Gervaitis. Welcome to another video in my series, Talking IUC with Dr. D, uh, my YouTube channel devoted to answering all questions related to intrauterine contraception. In today's video, we're going to answer the question, how exactly does an IUD work? Um, when I'm talking about IUDs with my patients, uh, many are sort of mystified how this small, tiny device that can fit in less than the palm of your hand, how this can be responsible for effectively preventing pregnancy for up to five years at a time. Uh, so we're gonna talk about the mechanism of action today. Uh, the precise mechanism depends on whether or not we're discussing the copper IUD or the hormonal IUD. So I'll start with the copper IUD. Uh, the copper IUD uh, basically releases copper ions into the uh, uterine cavity and creates a foreign body reaction. And this overall foreign body reaction is responsible for creating an environment that is hostile, if you will, uh, to sperm. Uh, it creates uh, biochemical changes and also structural changes within the endometrial lining. And overall, the uh, copper ions have a negative effect on sperm motility or movement, also sperm transport within the uterus and fallopian tubes. And it also has a negative impact on what's called the acrosomal reaction, which is a sequence of events that are necessary um, for sperm to penetrate an ovum and fertilize. So all of these mechanisms mean that fertilization very rarely occurs. Um, the copper ions also uh, create an inflammatory response and the ions and this inflammation is uh, present in the genital secretions throughout the genital tract and these secretions are also toxic for sperm um, and decreases the sperm's ability to penetrate cervical mucus. Uh, a uh, last mechanism is that there also are some impacts on the motility of the fallopian tubes and how the ovum moves through the fallopian tubes, uh, having an overall effect of decreasing the fertilization window uh, as another mechanism for uh, preventing pregnancy with the copper IUD. Now, the levonorgestrel IUD, uh, the commonest ones in Canada being Marina and Kylina, um, Marina containing 52 milligrams of levonorgestrel, Kylina containing 19.5 milligrams of levonorgestrel. The IUD itself is made out of a very soft, uh, flexible plastic material uh, called polydiethyl siloxane and the actual hormone itself is contained within this stem um, of the IUD um, and a number of mechanisms as well with this IUD. Uh, it does create a weak foreign body reaction within the uterus and again creating sort of a hostile environment for, uh, for sperm and for implantation. Um, there are endometrial changes that thin out the lining of the uterus. Um, the primary mechanism, however, is the progesterone and its effect on the cervical mucus. It thickens the cervical mucus such that this creates a barrier for sperm pen penetration so that the sperm can't even actually enter into the uterus. Um, further effects are the suppression of estrogen, re estrogen receptors and progesterone receptors within the uterus, and this uh, leads to some of the favorable bleeding patterns with uh, the levonorgestrel IUD, with most women noticing less heavy uh, and potentially less painful menstrual cycles. Um, but those are the overall mechanisms for the levonorgestrel IUD. Uh, now, if you look at the um, contraceptive uh, comparison chart that I uh, showed you in a previous vi video, you'll see that there's a slight difference in the efficacy of the copper IUD uh, compared to the levonorgestrel IUD. Because of the additional progestogenic effects, the levonorgestrel IUD is just a little bit more effective uh, than uh, the copper IUD. Its failure rate is about 2 per thousand or 0.2%. Uh, compared to the copper IUD, uh, the quotes real world uh, failure rate with the copper IUD uh, is 6 to 8 per thousand women or 0.6 to 0.8 percent. So we're seeing a difference there mostly because of the additional uh, contraceptive uh, mechanisms of the additional progesterone. 
So that was just a really brief video today explaining the difference between uh, the two different kinds of IUDs and how they work to prevent pregnancy. I'll remind you that in less than the time it took for you to watch this video, you could have had an IUD inserted because remember that it takes just five minutes uh, and after a five minute insert appointment, you uh, get to walk out the door with five years of worry-free contraception. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.